everybody and welcome to our channel where we explore innovative engineering solutions for a sustainable future. Join us as we unpack the technologies and processes that are transforming the way we manage our resources and protect the environment. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on how engineering is making our world cleaner and more sustainable. Today we're diving into the biggest trends shaping water management and wastewater treatment. This change is being driven by all sorts of challenges, like population growth, stricter regulations, and of course, water scarcity. As water demand goes up, we need to make sure we're not wasting this precious resource. Digitalization is expected to be a major game changer in water and wastewater management. Imagine advanced technologies like geographic information systems, GIS, AI, and digital twins providing us with a bird's eye view of our water systems. The Internet of Things is also playing a huge role, with sensors providing real-time data so we know exactly what's happening at every moment. With all of these tools, wastewater treatment plants are now able to monitor, optimise and respond to challenges like never before, ensuring both efficiency and safety. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Zero Liquid Discharge, or ZLD. ZLD systems are becoming super popular across all industries. Imagine a facility where no wastewater leaves, and that's what ZLD is all about. So it's not just about being compliant, it's about taking back control over water and reusing it. Speaking of reusing water, companies are also trying to achieve a, a net positive water balance. So this is using high recovery solutions to actually put more clean water back into the system than they take out. We can't talk about water treatment without mentioning brine. Brine is the salty byproduct that can be really tricky to deal with. Right now, several industries have to resort to costly management methods, but concentration technologies such as vacuum evaporation are exploding in popularity. This is to minimize and to treat brine, making it easier for those industries to handle them in a more sustainable way. Then there are the infamous forever chemicals, PFAS. These pollutants are notoriously tough to get rid of and they're everywhere. But here's the good news. Membrane and evaporation technologies are proving incredibly efficient at concentrating and removing PFAS from water sources. As regulations get stricter, industries are stepping up using these technologies to ensure these persistent contaminants don't end up back in our environment. One exciting trend we're seeing is the move towards decentralized wastewater treatment. So instead of sending wastewater across long distances to centralized treatment plants, decentralized systems allow us to treat it right where it's generated. This approach is more cost effective, it requires fewer pipelines, and it makes it easier to reuse water locally. Plus, it helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions, which is a big win for the environment. Have you heard of digital twins? It's basically a virtual replica of a wastewater treatment plant updated in real time. Imagine being able to test improvements or detect potential issues in a virtual world before making any changes to the real plant. It's a safe way to innovate without the risks. As more plants adopt this technology, we're going to see significant improvements in how efficiently and sustainably these plants operate. Next up. Let's talk about the science of materials. We're talking about using advanced materials, things like photocatalysts, electrode reactors, or nanoparticles that can be introduced in the water and purify it. These solutions are still under development, but if they're proven to be successful, it will push the boundaries of what we can do with water treatment, making it possible to remove even the toughest pollutants on the spot and make our processes more efficient. Sustainability isn't just a buzzword. It's a necessity, and that's why companies are integrating environmental, social and governance ESG principles into everything they do. A circular economy is a big part of this, with several industries exploring how they can generate renewable energy, reuse water, and recover valuable materials from wastewater. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out on any insights into engineering solutions that keep our world sustainable. Leave your questions or thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep exploring and stay waterwise.